The Dog and the Bone by Anne Wheel, illustrated by Bob Dancy. Chapter 1. Lucky Day. It was a warm autumn day, and the dog was feeling lucky. He nosed around some leaves until his snout touched something big and hard. I believe I have found something, he said. He pushed away the leaves to get a better look. Dog was right. He had found something. It was a big bone. Dog was very fond of bones, and this one was huge. He couldn't wait to sink his teeth into it. This is my lucky day, Dog said as he picked up the bone in his mouth. Chapter 2. A New Way Home Then Dog saw some other dogs. They were watching his every move, and their mouths were dripping. Dog could tell these other dogs were hungry. They wanted a big bone like that the one Dog had found. Had found. Dog knew he could not enjoy his bone with those other dogs around. They might try to take his bone away from him. Dog did not want to fight. He decided to take his bone away, feast on it there. But Dog was very far from home. He had walked a long way to find that bone. He decided to try to go a new way. He hoped it would be a shortcut. Dog ran through the fields. He sneaked past houses. He saw a cat, but decided not to chase it. Dog walked and walked until he got to a brook. The water looked chilly and deep. Dog did not like to swim, so he looked for a way to cross the brook. He saw an old, crude log bridge up ahead. That will do, he said. Chapter 3. A Better Bone Dog stepped out onto the bridge. It seemed solid enough. Still, Dog was very careful. He was almost to the other side when he looked down and he saw something remarkable. It was another dog. The dog was looking back up at him, and it and it had a big bone in his mouth, too. The dog could not take his eyes off this other bone. It looked much larger and even more delicious, delicious than the bone he had in his mouth. I must have that bone, dog said. Dog leaned over and tried to snatch it, snatch the bone from the other dog's jaws. As he did, the bone was he. The bone he was carrying in his mouth fell into the water. A loud splash. Dog did That surprised Dog. He was not expecting that to happen, but it didn't matter. He would get the other bigger bone instead. Chapter 4. A Lesson Learned Dog looked down into the water. He saw the other dog looking back at him. The dog looked just like him. He didn't have a bone either. Where had the bigger bone gone? Dog did not understand what had happened, but he knew he had lost his bone. Now he had nothing. Dog continued home, feeling very sad. It wasn't his lucky day, after all. Fables are stories with lessons called morals. The moral of this fable is this. In our greed for more, we may lose what we already have. Thank you for listening.